Welcome to Maze Lico Challenge. Today's problem is longest string chain. Given a list of words, each word consists of English lowercase letters. Now let's say word one is a predecessor of word two. If and only if we can add exactly one letter anywhere in word one to make it equal to word two. So for example, ABC is a predecessor of ABAC because we can add an A right in between here and that's gonna equal that word. A word chain is a sequence of words, word one, word two, all the way to word K where uh, with k is going to be greater or equal to 1, and where word 1 is a predecessor of word 2, and word 2 is a predecessor of word 3, so on and so forth. Return the longest possible length of a word chain with the words given to us in uh, words right here. So here we can see the longest word chain is going to be a to ba to bda and then bdca. So that'd be a chain of 4. Now to give you a hint, instead of adding a character, try deleting a character to form a chain in reverse. So what we might think here is, say that we had this word BDCA, we could uh, do some slicing, and we know that one character needs to get deleted, so we can start off by checking DCA, then check BCA, then check uh, BDA, and so on and so forth, and check to see if that word exists in our, in our list. Now if it does, we know that there's at least a chain of one, and what we can do is create like some sort of recursive function to return how long this path is. And we're gonna have to do that for every single word. And we can optimize by doing memoization. We could uh, keep track of what the max length or uh, max length of the path was uh, so that we don't do repetitive calls. Okay, so what we'll start off by doing is creating a set uh, to make it uh, a little bit faster. And we have to have our memoization, so we'll have a dictionary here. And now we're gonna have our recursive method. And this is just gonna be passing in the word. Now the base case is if this word is not in the set, then what do we wanna return? Well, we're just gonna return a zero because the chain doesn't exist, right? So we'll just return a zero. Otherwise, we're gonna to have to make sure to see our memoization. If word is in memo, then just return word memo here. Now otherwise we'll have to calculate how long that chain is for this word. So uh, a couple things we want to initialize. First we should have the length of word. So we'll have length of word here. And then we'll say for i in range of n, let's calculate the max path. And we're going to have to do that by uh, first initializing max here. And we're just going to calculate the max. Max equals max of max. And recursive, uh, what we'll do is word starting at i, no, no, up to i, plus, we're going to delete one character, so word i plus 1 all the way to the end. Uh, one thing to note here, though, is we have to add a 1 because every single recursive stack, we want to say, OK, this is going to be one word two words, three, three words, and so on and so forth. Once we have that, we should have our max value. So let's add it to our memoization. We'll say, uh, let's see, memo word is equal to max. And finally, just return the max. Now what we need to do is call it for every single word. We'll say 4w in words. Let's call our recursion for word here. And finally, now we have all the max lengths for every single word in our dictionary inside of memo, right? So all we need to do is just return the max of that. We'll say return the max of memo dot values. Okay, so let's see if this works. Return word dot memo. Uh, okay, I flipped that. <laughs> memo word. Okay, so that looks like it's working, so let's submit it. And there we go, accepted. Okay, so time complexity wise, it's gonna be at least n times l, because uh, l, l being the length of, or average length of the word. And it's actually gonna be, uh, because of this recursion, it's gonna be another l, so it's n times l times l, n times l squared. We also have our memo and our recursion, so uh, we have to have extra space, n times l space as well. But otherwise, 
Uh, I think this is perfectly acceptable. There's some optimizations you can do to make this code cleaner, but uh, you can certainly use LRU cache to get rid of some of this. But I think this is fine. Okay, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.